Okay, another short video. This is my Imperial Knight. I love this model, it is the best. I had it as a Christmas present. Uh, I got it Christmas Day. Ten days later, I came out of my shed <laughs> and it was done. <laughs> I don't think I ate or slept for ten days. But I'd already prepared this, the base I made myself because I wanted the ion shields to light up when I press the buttons. Okay, so I can have lit iron shields. Cool, isn't it? That's cool. Now then, electronics in this fella. What we got? Obviously, eyes. Every plate of armor, there's a light behind it. So, shoulders. See? Shoulders. In there, look, it sort of shines down. It looks good. Exhausts flashing. Yeah, look. Knees. Shins. Got a light on it. Right. That's the thing I've done. Did a white one behind his cod piece. Oh, yes. To illuminate his banner. Plasma. Weapons are interchangeable, so I have got the Ratwood Fire Battle Cannon, which can go on. And that, I put in a tiny little laser pointer, so uh, nobody can say I haven't got line of sight. Right, I've even done the eyes on the little skull on the sword, look, that's nice. These little touches look good. Doesn't they look nice? First time painting yellow with the air gun. I thought it came out really nice. Highly recommend one if you can afford to do it, do it. The uh, black isn't black. It's airbrush metallic black black uh, chrome. It's um some of the airbrush colours you can get are pretty good. See a little blue switch is a on off switch. You can't see that normally. So it's sort of like that, isn't it? Um, and I did paint it, but it's <laughs> yeah, the paint is rubbed off. I've used it that often. I just love it. Everybody at the Wargaming Club loves it as well. Like I say, this is a usable model. The base is slightly big, but it's, I mean, it's five mil on edge. That's that's this black blue perspex that I put on the front there. Um, is five mil thick, so it's ten mil. But nobody really complains. I only put them on the table because it stops people deploying everything. They're scared to put stuff on. So, um, yeah, that's my uh, Imperial Knight. He's got some good stuff. Lots of lights in that. Oh, yeah. Also, let's see if I can get it off. Magnetise the top. And there's the battery. And all the wiring's in there. And that just snaps on. Oh, yeah. What's this one? You're never going to know. All the arms come off, so if I ever get to the opportunity to buy another one of these, I may use the same colour scheme, so I can have completely interchangeable arms. So I could maybe change out the uh, chainsaw there for uh, another weapon, because there are Imperial Knights with two weapons. And if I wanted to, I could always magnetise something onto the top for the uh, turret weapons. That came out really nice. Nice for me. I did want to sell it, but my wife gave me uh, hell because it was a Christmas present. But don't tell anybody. Um, yeah. Transfers went on really nice. Well, legs ones were a pain. If you ever do one of these yourself, uh, good luck. I really did enjoy making this model. It's It was uh, so much fun to do. Like I say, 10 days. And I, uh, I didn't stop. I loved it. I just wanted to get on it all the time. This is what I do with the weapons. I magnetise it with a plug and socket. So I can uh, change that out for the rapid fire battle cannon. This bit comes off as well. But that's yeah, that magnetised. Guys, do it. If you can do it, do it. If you can't do it, give it a go. Like this. Also, because I've magnetised the centre joint, he can pose any way I want him. Uh, yeah, that's good. There's also a plug and socket through his torso so that I can power these guys up with the magnet. 
in between. Right, give it a go guys. I thoroughly recommend that you try putting some LEDs or trying some new sort of things with your models. I mean, what you got to lose? All you're going to do is enjoy doing them. Well, that's my opinion. You may not enjoy that so much. Uh, I do know some people who don't have the patience to put LEDs and things in. They just want to paint them and get them on the board. I th I do understand that. That's where I started. I do have an electrical background and LEDs have always had an attraction to me. That's why I uh, do it. There's, there's the other boys. That's the, the paint. Uh, that's the uh, dark vengeance guy. Raven Wing. Um... That's it. Oh, there's a couple of Dark Elder hiding in there, look. That's my other army that I'm doing, slowly, bit by bit. Bit of fun. Um, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. There probably will be a few more in the future. Uh, hopefully see you then. Hope, uh, if you can, like this video. And uh, have a look at some of the others. Uh, they're quite instructional. I'll give you a few ideas, ideas for your own stuff, maybe. Right, take care guys, all the best.